Artificial intelligence is enhancing the design of buildings and systems. AI-powered design is also the latest competitive horizon for a growing number of AEC firms. Joining us today is Gregory Snockel, CEO and president of Snockel Engineers in Omaha, Nebraska, whose AI for MEP software fully automates the design of MEP systems and optimizes that design for cost and value. Greg, welcome to the weekly. Oh, thank you very much. Greg, let's start off by if, uh, I'm asking you to explain how your firm's AI for MEP software works and why it's an improvement over conventional MEP design. Okay. Um, our AI for MEP software is just that. It's an artificial intelligence system that automatically designs the MEP systems for any type of building. Uh, we literally do not draw the wires, pipes, and ducts that make up a building's MEP systems anymore. The designs are completely automatic and optimized for minimum upfront cost, minimum energy cost, and minimum carbon footprint. Our engineers and designers work closely with the building's architectural construction and ownership teams to establish what the design parameters are, where all of the outlets, lights, fixtures, equipment need to be, and we enter all that information into, into a very complex database about the building. That database includes not only the MEP requirements for the building, but it also includes any and all architectural and structural information that impacts the routing of the MEP systems. Another part of the input process is establishing where the utility services come into the building or space and the characteristics of those services. What is the capacity, the flow, the pressure, et cetera? We have to input all of the technical information of the utilities that will serve the spaces. Once that database entry is complete, uh, we turn it over to the AI software. The software investigates tens of thousands of design alternatives in a quest to find the most cost, energy, and carbon efficient solution. Once the software has compared all of the alternatives, it automatically draws the most efficient system in both AutoCAD and Revit for use in the permitting, pricing, construction of the building. It does all of this design and optimization without any human intervention in the process. Once the software exports the CAD drawings and Revit models, our team then reviews the design, performs a very detailed QA analysis, and issues that information to the jurisdictions for permitting and to the contractors and subcontractors for bidding and construction. Greg, does anything have to change in design to unlock the complete benefits of AI in your estimation? Um, there's really not any changes to the overall design process from the viewpoint of the architects, owners, and contractors we work with. Uh, we still need to know all of the same information we would need to know uh, in a conventional engineering process. However, the process is that we are able to perform the design processing in minutes or hours instead of days or weeks using conventional engineering methods. Mm -hmm. Can you go into a little bit more detail about how your integration technology impacts cost? Yes. Um, since our design engineers are not tasked with designing and drafting and modeling of the wires, pipes, and ducts anymore, they're able to spend more time working with the design team to make sure that the aesthetics and functionality of the spaces are maximized to provide the best user experience. Uh, our team therefore has significantly more time to make sure we get all of the layouts right because they're not concerned with the tasks of designing and sizing the systems. We look at it as using the right tool for the right task, utilize the human's knowledge, training and experience to make sure we get the aesthetics and function right and let the computers do what they do best, crunch all those numbers and find the best solution rather than just a single possible solution that occurs with the human design distribution system. Now, the application of that AI process has a very dramatic impact on the construction and operational cost of the systems it designs. As I mentioned previously, using conventional engineering methods, all you get at the end of the design process is the human engineer's opinion of what, how to best meet the MEP needs of the space. With the AI for MEP software, you get a thoroughly studied and optimized design that meets all of the parameters set forth for the project at the minimum possible construction costs. The, the routes are more efficient, the sizing is more accurate, and the design and over, uh, overall will save the owner money in both construction costs and also the long-term operating and maintenance costs of the building. 
there's, there's literally less pipe, wire, and duct in the building. So the construction costs are lower and the building consumes less energy for the life of the facility. Mm -hmm. The initial construction costs alone have been proven to provide anywhere from 10 to 37% savings uh, relative to human design systems. We have published a number of case studies uh, wherein uh, these savings are demonstrated uh, versus human design. We'll get to one of those case studies in a minute, but can we talk a little bit about how your software helps clients minimize their risk? Because that's really what these guys are looking for primarily. Yes. Um, the, the risk reduction is uh, primarily provided by the uh, accuracy of the design software. Um, we've been using our software on over 4,000 projects over the last four or five years as we've rolled it out. The software never makes a mistake with regard to routing, sizing, or pipes, or wires, or ducts. If an error is to creep into a Schnackle engineer's design, it is the result of a human entry error. The software will not know if a pressure requirement or a flow requirement or an electrical requirement has been entered incorrectly. However, we've developed dialog boxes for the entry of this information to try to minimize the possibility of any human errors. It specifically flags errors uh, and doesn't allow the user, for example, to put in the wrong flush valve on the toilet or specify the wrong voltage or phase configuration that cannot be supplied by the building. But in addition to the dialog box system to reduce errors, we've also had the software perform a very extensive pre-check routine that scours the data inputs and looks for possible errors. It detects both hard errors, which would preclude a valid design solution, uh, but it also looks for so those soft errors uh, that don't look quite right or might be a result of a human error. Um, these pre-check routines are required to be run before anything can be submitted for processing. We do not allow a user to submit a project for processing by the AI systems until all the hard errors are cleared and all the soft errors have been reviewed and confirmed for accuracy. We've done everything possible to try to eliminate the human entry error possibility before the processing is ever even completed. Greg, can you single out a recent project where your software was used and what some of the results were? Um, yes, as I mentioned previously, uh, we have done a number of case studies using our software. Uh, basically, what we did was we went to old projects. We pulled them from our archives from before our, uh, the advent of our software. We changed absolutely nothing uh, with respect to the design parameters of those projects. Uh, every outlet's in the same place, every light's in the same place, and every plumbing fixture is identical. All we did with these case studies is re-enter the data for the AI for MEP software and let the system redesign the distribution systems using the new technology. Hmm. The results of those case studies are very dramatic. Uh, they range anywhere from 10 to 37 percent uh, in savings. It's cost savings, material and labor savings, and embodied carbon savings. It provides the most optimum design rather than just a single design as would occur with a conventional engineering process. Just out of curiosity, are you using this software on all of your projects now, or is it still somewhat selective? Uh, we use it on absolutely every project we design um, with the potential savings for the owner, uh, as well as the time savings and labor savings on our side, it wouldn't make any sense to uh, use anything else. Well, Greg, thanks for sharing a couple of minutes with us about your product. And uh, it sounds like it's, it's really working optimally, <laughs> not excuse the pun. <laughs> and uh, thanks, thanks for say, say, spending some time with us and our audience. Absolutely. I'm a pleasure to be here. And this is uh, John Caulfield from Building Design and Construction Magazine. Thank you. Mm -hmm.